Common Core State Standards, Math, 7th Grade, Expressions and Equations 1 and 2, Algebra 1B in the Graduation Standards, and we're adding linear expressions. And don't get scared by that. Linear just means when you graph it, that it will form a line. But it is an expression right now. And we have two groups here. So number one is 2x plus 3 plus x plus 4. And 2x plus 3 is in a group, and so is x plus 4. And so you need to combine like terms. So if you do that, you're going to march this down, and you're going to line up the x's with the x's. This is actually 1x, and plus 4. The coefficient of x here is 1. And so you're just lining them up, and now we can combine them. So it's 2x plus x is 3x, and 3 plus 4 is 7. That's as far as you can go, so you also need to know when to stop. Stop! So let's go on to number 2. It's a little bit harder because you get got negatives here. So we have 2x minus 1 in one group, and we have x plus 5 in another group. And you're going to march it down here and line up your x's with x's and numbers with numbers. So we have x plus 5. Do you see how I move that whole group down? Okay, and we're lining them up. And if I do that, I have 2x plus x is 3x. And negative 1 plus 5, those are opposite signs, so you subtract and you get a 4, and the 5 takes it, so it's positive 4. So it is 3x plus 4. Um, anyways, um, And let's do another one. It's very similar to number two. Number three is 2x minus 1 plus another group of x minus 5. So we have x's and we have numbers. And so we're going to match them up. And we're going to march them over so it's x minus 5. Now, we're going to look at this. 2x plus an x is 3x. They're the same signs. Now we have the same signs here, negative 1 and negative 5. So you add them up and add the sign. And you get 3x minus 6. And that's as far as you can go. And on to the fourth example. And we have a group of 2x minus 3. And we're adding another group of negative x plus 4. All right, so they're x's and numbers, and we're going to march them in. We're going to combine like terms, so it's negative x plus 4. Okay, and in this case here, when we're looking at it, we have negative, I mean 2x minus 1x, which would be a positive x. And then we're adding these two together, and they're different signs, so you subtract them and you get a 1, but it is positive so it is x plus 1. Do you see how all the integer rules or the all about the sign rules come into play here? Thank you.